And when they clean the wound with the rag, they, they will not wash it, they put it in the sun, it gets dry, and they use the same uh, rag and wet their wounds again and put it in there for it to get dry. That's the kind of cloth that uh, uh, the Bible is describing, Isaiah is describing in this text, where he talks about righteousness being like filter rags. Those were the filter rags. So as hard as we tried in our own effort to gain God's salvation, we have never been able to do that. So anybody who is depending on his own efforts and strength to make it into heaven, that person has just told himself a lie. Because we cannot do it on our own and in our own strength. So just one verse from our second reading this morning I'm going to be expanding on in this message. And the verse is found in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 3. Verse 3 is what we're going to zero in on. It reads, how shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation which was first announced by, by the Lord was confirmed to us by those who heard it. So I think we ignore the greatness of God's salvation because our, of our ignorance of why he came and died, just like I just said. So imagine taking a homeless man from the streets and you clothe him and you give him a place to stay, give him food to eat, give him a job, and, and, and start his, his life all over again. This guy is going to appreciate you. The reason is because he remembered where you took him from. And uh, several years ago, I took a young man in my house who was on the streets. And we took him in our house and treated him like one of our sons. And over and again, the question he would ask me, why you did this for me? You don't know me from anywhere. Why you brought me in your house? And he kept asking this question, and he was willing to just do anything for us in appreciation. So when we get to really understand what this salvation is that God has given to us, it makes you appreciate Jesus. It makes you appreciate the cross and understand what it means for him to die on the cross for you and for me. So now let's look at the greatness of our salvation in these three areas. The first is the ability of salvation. Let's look at the ability of salvation. Hebrews 12 verse 3 again, I'm reading this text. How shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. 